Welcome back to SFA News Live. Now, you can watch us right here um, down at the lower level on the main stage. You can watch us on Facebook Live. You can watch us on YouTube Live. You can watch us at monitors throughout all of Jacob Javits Center. Here's where it's at. And I'm talking to the most important, not only the most important, but I'm talking to you know important oh, people you that, are re- on me. <laughs> that, are, that are retailers, that are, that are brands, yeah first time exhibitors here and and the one thing that I'm hearing over and over and over from them is this is not a trade show this is a community and what we heard from people is they they come here to see not only friends but other people that they can collaborate with and that's what SFA is all about it's a lot more than just two great trade shows a year this is a community to educate to empower and really to change the food world so with Absolutely. me, again, I've got Phil Kafarakis here. Um, so, Phil, uh, let, let's do a, a recap. Yesterday was the, the Sophie Awards. Yes. I, love, I love what was put together yesterday. And this, I think, was the first time that all the Sophie Award winners were upstairs and the press and buyers could yes. go talk to them and taste the product right there. That was great. What did you think? Yeah, we were very excited about that, Phil. And exactly what you said, uh, the numbers are good. Uh, they're, you know, they're, we're, we're actually surprised by the numbers because they're up versus last year, given that we had a Saturday. Right. Uh, and everybody gets caught up uh, with the numbers, and we're very pleased. But I think the bigger question here goes back to community. If you were upstairs in Sophie yesterday at the meet yep. and greet, there were more than 160 Sophie Award winners, and um, it was incredible. They were all laid out in the River Pavilion. Uh, the buyers came through. The media was there. Uh, we announced a new product of the year that uh, we're going to uh, showcase yeah. differently. So uh, right, right. I'm not going to steal their thunder. Right, right. Uh, but this community is this next generation of entrepreneurs, food entrepreneurs, that are creating products that are putting Phenomenal. the big brands on their head, right? Phenomenal. So it yep. is about coming here and, and being a big food show. But the ability to meet people and the peer-to-peer exchange has been absolutely terrific. We're very proud of where Sophie has been. And we were encouraged yesterday by some people that have won Sophie's uh, a couple of times. Uh, They said to me, you should think about this becoming a reunion, a Sophie alumni event. The new folks are there, they're mentoring, uh, uh, they're being mentored by the couple of uh, Sophie winners. And we're really, you know, that's how it works. The members give us ideas and we think that's the kind of thing that will enhance the show. I love it. And and to your point, you know, I, I walked through, we did some Facebook Live yesterday up there and talked to them. They proudly have their Sophie Awards there. Yes. Uh, but but what I hear from all of them, this is the show that makes a difference. Uh, earlier today, we had Molly and you on. Um, Brand, yeah. they, they first time exhibited at the Fancy Food Show in San Francisco. We had interviewed her there. After the interview, she met up with some people at Hy-Vee. She told me that in two weeks, her product line is now in all the Hy-Vees, and it happened here. It happened here. That's the beauty (laughs) of uh, the change in the model. Yep. So as we took qualifications up at a high level and chased away a lot of our consumer enthusiasts, We've gotten some serious engagement between the exhibitors and the buyers. We've got buyer teams from all across the country here for the very first time. Uh, You you mentioned some folks from the Midwest. We've got two big national chains uh, walking the floors with uh, some uh, merchandising managers for they've been here for the very first time. Uh, We've got some folks uh, from uh, internet companies. We've got some folks from Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, So the distribution channel uh, having blurred allows us to make this community open to all buyers. I mean, that is one of my biggest messages. All buyers are welcomed here. If strictly in food, if you got a hunger for food and you're totally committed to food and some beverage, and we're gonna talk about beverage more and more because of the survey, this is the place to be. And we're actually making sure the content is spread into the uh, education platform. And, uh, you know, talking about buyers, this morning we had our retailer buyer panel. Yes. Which was... Great success. Stand, great success, standing room only. Very And happy. the insights, you know, that they had 
um, about what the trends were, where retail is going. Um, also, Emilio talking about, you know, he's concerned about the farmers. Um, he's concerned about the tariffs, yeah. um, all this, and how it's going to affect our business. These are really bright people that we can all learn from. Listen, uh, Emilio and his family, Bruno Brothers in Philadelphia, I think they're third generation. Yes, third generation. You know, they've got a phenomenal franchise, retail franchise down there, but now they export. You know, they import, they're a distribution company. They have e-commerce, e they have catalogs. So this yeah. is how it evolves. And uh, I think the insight that was brought today uh, with the group was really fascinating because at the end of the day, there was a question that you asked that stirred a little bit of, you know, uh, that's a little tough one. What do consumers want? And somebody said everything. Exactly. Robin uh, from Roach Brothers, she said everything. Everything. That's yeah. so true because they want to know where did it come from? Yep. Who made it? How's it going to affect me? Is it a value? What does it mean to the community I'm part of? You know, so I think that all comes together clearly at the show. And we're very delighted with uh, the outcome today. Uh, traditionally, we open on Sunday. We saw some great on-site registration today. Uh, tomorrow will probably be a softer day. But uh, again, I think with the uh, events tonight, uh, it's going to be so an let's, outstanding let's talk about a, the rest of the day yeah, here. celebration. So what we've got is... Um, Excite Talks. Excite afternoon. Talks are going on right now. Actually, right now. I just came from launching the Seeds and Chips discussion. Uh, the Innovation folks, uh, the Innovation Summit, they call themselves, and they should. They're from Milan. They're a global enterprise. Uh, they're totally centered around the responsible nature of how we feed people, how we take care of people. What are we doing with the planet? How is the whole agri part of nourishment uh, going to affect the world we live in? They've got some young entrepreneurs. They're downstairs in the special exhibit area. If you just come right down into the uh, level one, you can't miss them. You've got to be there uh, to see some of this fantastic stuff that's being done. You know, talk about vertical farming in this country. They've extended that conversation. Plant-based foods, they've extended that conversation. The repurposing of food mm -hmm. uh, and how all that takes place. We're going to have some folks on my disruptors panel tomorrow to discuss it. But they're a great... Uh, example of us trying to extend the experience and they were part of our excite package today um, and again trying to fill out the education so you can wander the show have a place to sit yep. learn something and wander yep. the show and and learn a lot and then tonight at 5 30 is the annual membership meeting important the lifetime achievement awards will be presented yes. and the hall of fame ceremony yes we're very proud of the opportunity to celebrate our community here and recognizing them through the Hall of Fame inductees and also two Lifetime Achievement Awards. I think I'm not going to steal anybody else's thunder. No, There's yeah. some people from the team that will talk to you about yeah. who they are. But that will be a wonderful celebration of, you know, the communities coming together. And that's a very big part of showing this next generation what it's going to be like. I told the Sophie Award winners last night, we want you back two, three years from now to tell us how successful you've become and then pass it on and that's why. And also why, win more awards. I, yeah. I, I was talking to one of them Multiple. Um, that they've won um, a Sophie Award every year for the past three years. Yeah, it's incredible. That's and, great. and you know, the judging comes from a completely uh, third party, mm -hmm. 60 uh, edu education um, of folks, people out of academia, people out of the media, people uh, in the buying community. They're all food related uh, and subject matter experts around nutrition and food and we put them off to the side, they use our facilities, and they come up with the winners. And uh, I'm just so pleased. And it led to how then we can bring some of those young entrepreneurs in. And I think Ron Tanner will be here later to talk to you about Incubator Village, which Ron, is another phenomenal thing. right there, phenomenal and he's going to come on. And uh, the same thing with what's new, uh, brands, the new brands on the shelf, which is another mm -hmm. stepping stone in your launching your company, how you can do that and be successful and learn from the community. So all that comes together and it's part of today's uh, rollout and it, it'll take us into tomorrow with some very exciting things with the distributor, with a disruptor panel. And then we've got the incubator program after that and I'm gonna let Ron talk to you about okay. that. Fair enough. Well, congratulations. Thanks, a Phil. Great show. Great. Thank you. Uh, the energy on the show floor, everything's terrific. Thank you. So we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, more on SFA News Live.